Uh, good morning, and it's good to be on the show so early this morning. Um, but uh, before we start, I just want to express my sincere condolences uh, to the family of uh, Mojeka Madisha um, during this tragic time. Um, uh, words con cannot express, uh, you know, what as a football community we are experiencing, and surely we don't know what the family is experiencing. So our sincere condolences. Um, I think what my, my response to what has happened is just, you know, motivated by a sheer sense of loss, uh, wanting to see how can we help as footballers, as, as footballing community, how can we help one another to ensure that, that, that you know, tragedy is, is, is sort of limited. And so what I suggest, or what I thought about was, I, I, th I thought about how about instilling in a, in a, in a clause, um, in a contract of a, a no self-drive clause after 2200 hours, after 10 p.m. And then the club uh, introduces a, um, a buddy drive system for, for, for players who are out after 2200 hours. And that's, that's sort of, that's the gist of what I, what I thought about, you know, like my desperate attempt to sort of so to see how we can help, mm. you know. And you talk about contractually uh, it, 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 it being instilled in the contract from the onset. How do you then monitor that? Because that's legally binding then. How do you monitor that as a club? I, I think that uh, I, I think that's left to the club to decide on the ifs and the buts in the hows. Um, but just to see how can we help, because, uh, you know, I just thought about it at, at night, I, I think of myself, when we drive, we take a bit more risks. Um, and that means other people are taking more risk um, and, and other people may not be as careful as what I am. And so hopefully if there's a, self, uh, a no self-drive clause, I sort of, sort of can think about, okay, I'm going there today. Um, I, I could be out after 10. Um, maybe I don't, I don't use my own vehicle and then it makes me a bit more safe because, uh, you know, um, and I don't know, I just, it's just been a start of a conversation, a start of a thought. I don't have all the answers, but I'm hoping that it, it, it will spark a conversation somewhere down the correct corridors um, for us to begin talking about how we can help one another. Mm, speaking of the correct corridors, uh, Jerome, you do a lot of work with CAF as well uh, after retiring from on-field work. Has there been anything about maybe the protection of players uh, from other countries in in such ways I actually haven't thought I haven't uh, done any research on, on this at all um, it, you know as I said it was just fr from a sense of deep hurt and desperation and to think that we've lost another another player and there's a family without uh, you know another breadwinner or another family member um, and so I haven't done that type of research but I do know that you know when I talk about referees, um, when referees are in another country, for example, they do not drive themselves. Um, they get driven fr from the match and to the match and to trainings, etc. Very much like players are, 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 you know, players experience the same. So I'm just thinking, why not? We, why don't we, you know, think about doing this uh, in our own country? Mm. And there's there's always uh, some sort of entourage that you see with some of the international stars, Jerome and. Uh, perhaps that's the way our players need to go about it. Stop driving yourself in the wee hours or something like that. But is there something that you perhaps want to uh, or are looking at putting down and perhaps pitching to the Premier League uh, here in South Africa or the clubs? Well, I think because I started this conversation, I, I would definitely have to follow it up and just and just put it out there to to the Premier League or to the South African Football Association. And these are my thoughts. Um, and I'm hoping that what comes out of this is a healthy conversation um, to limit our the, the loss on our roads. Uh, we know statistically that South Africa does not have a very good, um, you know, health right if i could call it that on on our, on our national roads and maybe this is a conversation that we could that that could start could, could be as a kickstart to something that that will just ensure that we have um you know more safer roads and and, and and people are more safe on the roads one of the things that could come out of that uh jerome is whose responsibility is it when it comes to one's own life is the league supposed to force players adults to do certain things or their clubs or their managers slash agents 
or is it just someone's responsibility to just take care of, of themselves and know uh, when they shouldn't drive? I think all of us have a, have a responsibility. Every single person, whether we are self-driving or whether we are, you know, whether we're involved in football or not, all of us have a responsibility in some way or other to, to you know, to, to, to have this conversation. Um, whose responsibility it is, that's a difficult one to answer. Uh, I leave that for the experts to talk about. Um, I'm just a, a former referee who's thrown something into the, into the ether and hopefully there's a, there's a healthy conversation that comes from this. And also there's the issue of, uh, as we uh, uh, call it, new money. Uh, unfortunately, most of our players grew up in severe poverty and it's a conversation that comes up when we talk about saving also for uh, after their footballing careers. What, who are you to tell me what to do with my money, when to drive my car? It, it's, it's something that the players will also have to uh, have a buy-in into. Uh, correct. There needs to be a, a buy-in from all role players. And that's why we need to get feedback from everybody um, as to what is the best way forward. Um, you know, if it were me in the, situ in the situation and I were prof uh, a professional footballer, what is it that's best for me and how uh, will I be comfortable? Would I be comfortable with such a, with such a clause? I'm not too sure. Um, because, like you say, I, I, you know, I, I could have the attitude that say this is this is me, this is my life, this is my contract. Um, I'm not happy with it, and, and and then so be it. But I think there should be options available for everybody. And when we have this conversation, uh, this honest conversation, all of us who are important in in getting this contract together, and the player is central to it. You know, we need to hear from you need to hear from the players themselves. You cannot. I uh, always have this, con this 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 belief that we cannot discuss uh, something without the party involved. So when I talk about referees, I say we can't talk about referees without referees. Um, so you can't talk about players without players. And that's that, that's the important bit. All right, Jerome Damon, thank you so much for your uh, time contribution. Uh, that you are making also to the world of football still after retiring from your time on the field as a referee, talking about perhaps buddy driving for players after 10 p.m. They shouldn't be self-driving. That's the conversation that he sparked on social media yesterday. And we thought, why not bring him onto the show and talk to him about it? A growing list of players just uh, dying on the roads here in South Africa. Les